So this is gonna be a very short video. <laughs> Cristobal and welcome back to my channel uh, so today I basically was given a nice little comment and question I will put it somewhere over here or there or there or there um, essentially I was asked about what is the transfer route from Brighton University to the BSMS Brighton and Sussex Medical School. I'll be talking about that today. So before you do anything else, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you like to see, just like this one. And let's get on with the video. So the thing is, um, to get into medical school, there are many different routes actually to getting in. Um, and because of that, it's not always known to a lot of people, and you kind of do have to do your research, um, because like some people just might end up falling into it or finding out about it later on um that's pretty much what happened to me i found out that there was actually another way of doing this it wasn't a thing that is advertised on many sites but there are websites that you can look at um i did make a post about similar like how there are different transfer routes into medicine or different access routes to medicine on my instagram page so i'll put like a little picture there and i will leave my info in the description box so you can see more information about that especially so there are three med like three health science courses at the brighton university that you can use to get into medical school uh, granted it can't be quite competitive but it is there so there are three of them there is biomedical sciences bsc honors biological sciences bsc honors and m firm which is a pharmacy pharmacy and that's a four-year degree so that's different to the other two so when i was actually at uni at the beginning if, for biomedical sciences i think there was only yeah, there was only one course that actually offered this transfer route, uh, which was biomedical sciences. There are two entry points that you can use to get into medical school. This is after first year and after third year. So in first year, it is a bit different with the requirements. The requirements are quite similar to as if you had done uh, A-levels and went straight into medical school, but you've just done that specific first year. Um, I'm looking at my computer now so you can actually see it. Um, so according to this date of when this YouTube video is actually recorded, which is the 6th of uh, May 2021, um, because they could change, I don't know. Uh, so the GCSE grade equivalent is grade B and then your A-level grades are AAA. So that's very similar to as if you went straight in from A-levels. Um, and also you need to get something like 70% on average for your first term modules. Uh, so that can be kind of one of those things. Well, it's definitely possible to do. You can definitely see why it would be a bit different, especially if it didn't re meet the requirements of AAA. Now the second time you can actually apply for this guaranteed interview scheme or transfer route is after third year. So what happens is, I started my application towards the like the latter half of second year but this meant that I needed to do very well in my second year to apply for third year um, to apply in my third year if that makes sense so the requirements do drop so they do ask for your GCSE grade B equivalent but they don't uh, take into account your A level grades or equivalent so they want you to get like a 70% average in your year two modules around that, you know, give or take. Um, and then there may be a few more requirements for like English language, if, if English is in your first language, but yeah, that's there. And then also again, you have to still take the BMAT. So Brighton University did this really cool thing. It was actually the first time they did it when I was in third year. They gave the opportunity to Brighton University to become like, a testing center so that also reduced the fees that you'd have to pay if you wanted to go and take the BMAT test so if Brighton and U University didn't actually do this test center you'd probably have to go further to j 
just do the VMAT test. So that was really nice and really helpful to have. Something I need to actually mention, when I say this is a transfer route, it is in a sense in that category of transfer routes or an access route to medicine. But when you do get in to medical school, you're not starting where you stopped. So if you applied it in the first year of biomedical sciences, you don't go into second year of medical school. You will start again at first year. The same thing with third uh, biomedical sciences, if you apply it after third year, you don't start in third year of medical school, you start in your first year of medical school. So that can be a bit different to other medical schools. It depends really, but it's just because, um, it, because the curriculum is quite different with biomedical sciences and medicine. So yes, you will start exactly at the first year from the beginning. So you do need to take that into account when it comes to financing and stuff or student finance if you get that. Whoa, instead, <laughs> I almost dropped my bottle. Uh, so you do have to take that into account if you're applying for student finance and all that type of jazz. There's actually one more requirement that I didn't um, pay, uh, I didn't even mention. Um, so they do want you to have like an excellent record of your class attendance. So you want to at least be getting 80% of your attendance. Uh, attendance when I was uh, biomedical science, doing biomedical sciences, you would usually have to tap in. It wasn't always, it could be randomized as well. So just be aware of that. You want to make sure your attendance is really good because it shows, you know, commitment or implies commitment to the course. And it would also be helpful to have some healthcare related work experience that you can put into your personal statement. It is showing as a requirement there or as what you would need for your application to UCAS because you're still actually applying to UCAS. It's just that you've um, fulfilled all the requirements as a Brighton medical student, a Brighton by a Brighton biomedical sciences student or pharmacy student or biological sciences student. I do think it's important to mention that yes, you can definitely get into that course because if you are determined, you will get in to where you want to be. Um, but you also need to remember that because there are certain things that you need to make sure you achieve. So like if you're applying in third year, you need to do your best in second year to be able to use those grades as reference um i do think you need to be aware that it's even though it's a different system or it is very similar you still need to be aware that it does take a bit of effort and a bit of time so you need to be focused if you want to make sure you want to like get into medical school and that just goes for anything if you want something you need to focus for it so yeah <laughs> but believe in yourself you can definitely do it like why not so thank you very much for watching this video i have put links in the description of different uh, entry routes the information from brighton university um about transfer or the guaranteed interview uh, scheme as they call it to uh, get into medical school um hopefully this will be very helpful for you if you do have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i would be more than happy to answer um i hope you have a blessed day and whatever dreams that you're going for um believe that you can do it dream big aim high you will surely get there we will surely get there and i will see you very soon okay see you guys bye